Hello. In this video, I show you how to perform a bare metal recovery of Proxmox VM data using Nikivo backup and replication. It's recommended that you reserve this recovery method for VMs that don't have any pass-through devices. Having a pass-through device can complicate the recovery process, as it may require you to load additional device drivers or kernel modules when loading the ISO image. To begin, navigate to settings in your Nikivo backup and replication web interface, and select the Repositories tab. Click on the backup repository containing your Proxmox VM data backup to view its details. After locating the backup, hover over it and click on the ellipsis that appears on the right-hand side. Click Recover, then click Bootable Media for Physical Machine. Select Get ISO, Download to Browser, then click Next to begin downloading the backup ISO image. Next, switch to your Proxmox VA environment and navigate to the data store where you want to host the ISO image containing the VM data backup. Click Upload, then click Select File. Choose the ISO image you downloaded earlier, and click Open. Click Upload. When the upload is complete, close the Task Viewer window. From the left pane, select the VM that you want to use for this recovery. To avoid losing existing data, we recommend creating and using a new VM. With the Hardware tab selected, click Add, then select CD slash DVD drive. Select the storage location to which you uploaded the ISO image, then select the ISO image. Now, click Add. If the selected VM already has a CD slash DVD drive, follow the last two steps to edit the drive and point it to the ISO image. Make sure to enable the ISO image at the top of the VM's boot order settings. To do so, select Options, double-click Boot Order, and click the checkbox next to the Nikivo Backup and Replication ISO image. If it's not already there, drag the ISO image to the top of the list. Click OK to save your changes. Next, boot the VM using the Start button. You will be greeted with an ordinary Ubuntu UI that will guide you through the VM recovery process. A few seconds after the VM boots, Nakivo injects a local transporter that transfers the data from the backup repository to the VM's virtual disks. Simply wait for this to happen. The transporter has just been injected. The director has now loaded. If you see this warning in the browser tab, click the advanced button, then accept the risk and continue. Log in using your Nikivo backup and replication credentials. After logging in, you will be directed to the new bare metal recovery wizard. Select the backup containing your Proxmox VM data, then click Next. In the second step, map your backed up drive to one of the drives attached to your VM. Finally, click Recover. Once the recovery is complete, you can boot the Proxmox VM you configured earlier and resume your normal operations. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to catch new uploads. You can also visit the Nikivo website to download a free trial version of Nikivo backup and replication and try the solution in your own environment for 15 days.